tractor equipment collection because two months ago I didn't have any Alice Chimers anything and now I think I have quite a pile of them. So. Hey what's up guys? In this video we're going to be digging into the hydraulic pump on my Alice Chimers tractor. Um, so basically what's going on with the pump is when you turn the hydraulics on for this tractor they're not smooth they kind of stutter I guess is a good way to say it uh, I thought it was air in the lines it's not air in the lines um, it's basically something <clears throat> is going on with the pump um, it's also kind of on the slow side so just to kind of explain how this works you got the PTO shaft here um, and then on the back side of the shaft behind the housing there's like cam lobes on it and inside the pump here there's pins that go back and forth like this on the cam lobes and there's four of them and that provides your pumping action for the hydraulics so I'll show you in a minute how what's going on with it and why I think there's a problem uh, basically what I think is going on is one or two of the <clears throat> valves themselves is stuck uh, this tractor sat for a long time um, so I think that possibly one or two of the valves is stuck and that's making um, causing it to stutter because it's not very smooth so if only one valve was working then uh, that would just make it not be as smooth because you don't have as many uh, I guess pump strokes per revolution so to speak um, it's kind of like if you had an engine misfiring it's really rough that type of idea so anyways we're going to tear this apart um, <clears throat> I do have to drop the hitch out uh, in order to uh, hook up the cylinders to the other location so that they're actually actuating lift arms instead of just supporting uh, the hitch. So I'm going to do that quick. I'll show you what's going on with it. And then we'll, we'll rip that pump off and tear it apart and see if we can figure out, figure out what's going on. So anyways, that's what's going on. As you can see, it's kind of stuttery, um, doesn't really go very fast, so on and so forth. So anyways, we're going to tear that pump apart, see what's going on, so enjoy the video. All right, so we got some of this taken apart. Got a little block here, just kind of holding this thing up out of the way. Um, right here is the seam between the valve and the actual pump down here. So I'm probably gonna actually unbolt the valve up here and just kind of hang it. I've had this valve off before, 
I don't, I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm more interested in the pump. So we'll get the pump uh, separated off of here. Got some linkages, some a uh, few bolts to take off. So we're just going to keep going with this. All right, so let me show you what's going on here. This is kind of cool. So here we go. We're inside the, let's, let's get the light better here. This is like the rear extension housing for the PTO. And we've got these four lobes. Now they are pitted a little bit. Uh, Probably at one time there was quite a bit of water inside this uh, transmission, but they're not terrible. And for what this tractor does and the RPM this turns, I'm not worried about it. But um, so that's how that's how it works. There's those lobes on the shaft there, and um, when you engage the PTO, it turns on the hydraulic pump, and you can run the hydraulics pretty simple. Now over here on the bench, the part I took out, we have these four rollers. Actually, they all spin, which is pretty cool. But, if you look at this, if I tip this up, try to do this one-handed, this thing's pretty heavy. Tip all these rollers out, you can see only one pump, only one piston rather, actually does what it's supposed to. That one's stuck, that one's stuck, and that one's stuck. So that's not good. So basically what we're going to do here, I'm going to tear this thing all apart, take this housing off, we're basically going to take every nut and bolt out of this thing, strip it down as far as we can. Uh, clean it all up, see what it needs in there, see if it needs some O-rings, see if we got some springs broken, see what we got going on. Uh, I do have this other parts tractor over there that has a pump on it, so if we run into any broken parts, hopefully we can get them replaced um, with just spare parts. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much the game plan. So I'm going to get tearing this thing apart, and we'll see what we find.
something I wanted to uh, kind of show you here is one thing that's going on here. When I first got this tractor, let me see if I can get some better light on it here. This this bolt in the side here was loose, and I just figured this was some type of oil drain. Um, so I just tightened it up. But you can see that it's actually like a stud that sticks out in here, and it looks like this pivot is supposed to be on there um, somehow or other. Um, so someone must have had this out, and I'm not sure that I didn't take it out and then put it back in, um, not knowing that it that it was supposed to capture this. So that's part of what's going on. But anyways, I just wanted to show that. Also, I was as I was taking this assembly apart, I noticed that this spring is actually broken. So we're definitely going to have to get into that other pump and uh, see if we can get the spring out of that. Hopefully that one isn't broken, but... Um, Anyways, we'll keep going. Alright, so I pulled some more valves out. They're like detents um, out of the top here. Uh, got them out. Uh, now, what I gotta do is this pin. We gotta get these pistons out of here um, because there's definitely some broken springs or something going on down in here because this stuff should not be like this sloppy. See how this one's like got no slop? These are like that those pins should be all the way up so we got to get this cross pin out of here that holds all these in um i do have a book house chalmers book i've been reading that uh yeah i believe it or not i read the directions but anyways just says to remove this doesn't say to press it doesn't say anything just says remove it well i've tapped on it a little bit both ends it doesn't want to remove so we're going to mess with it a little more and see if we can get it out of there because it's, it's definitely supposed to come out of there. Alright, so I did end up getting that pin out. Um, I didn't realize my storage was almost full on my phone, so I didn't get it. But anyways, pins here. These are the rollers. These are all the pistons that were in the holes below the, uh, the rollers. 
and you can see the springs are shot. Uh, this one right here is the one that was actually looking pretty good, even that one's broken. And then there is a little spring on this guy here. That's here in about a million pieces. So anyways, uh, I've got a bunch of broken spring springs on this. I'm kind of concerned that if I go and tear that pump apart that's on that other tractor over there, that I'm going to find the same thing. So I just don't know if I'm going to. Um, now that I've got this, had this one apart, that one should be pretty easy and quick uh, because I've done it once. But I'm going to look around online, I guess, and see if see if there's actually um, somewhere that sells uh, these springs or or whatever, see if they're available at all. Uh, something tells me they're not going to be, but I figured I'd try it. So uh, we'll see what I can come up with. So I did some digging, and I had a hard time finding any part numbers for any of the springs. Uh, basically ended up calling a place in Pennsylvania um, that knows Alice Chalmers real well and can get the parts through Agco. And I was able to get all the part numbers for the springs and then gave those part numbers to a local Agco dealer and they were able to get, get, um, get the springs. So I ordered a bunch of springs. Basically, I ordered all these ones that are broken as well as the little one, and this one. This one's actually pretty expensive. This is almost $60 all by itself this spring. Um, so I am going to take apart uh, the other pump and just see what the condition of that spring is, because if that spring is good, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and use that spring um, and then just replace the other ones that are broken with new ones, um, just because $60 for one spring is just pretty ridiculous. So anyways, I was also able to get all the gaskets, so those are coming, and uh, so as soon as the parts come, we'll get this thing thrown back together. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to take these two, this uh, pump housing, and this cover here, and we're going to throw them in a bucket with some, uh, some diesel fuel, and just kind of let them soak, and just try to get them, uh, get all the gunk and stuff worked out of them, so... We'll, we'll get that done. Got those soaking, so we'll throw the lid on this. I'll probably just let them sit in there until the parts come in. And um, so, see you when we get them parts, and we'll get this thing put back together. <laughs> 